street lamps aren't all working even they've got January blues <laughs> friends um excuse the poor lighting but this is what it's like when you head to work at 7 a.m in january so i don't know how you guys are feeling but this is not giving me great vibes um january is a pretty long month um at the best of times <laughs> okay it's always the same length of time but it feels like a really long month obviously um you have to wait longer to get paid um, because you get paid a little bit early before Christmas, you've got to wait the, the full 30 days into this month. Um, oh yeah, now I'm in darkness completely. <laughs> the street lamps aren't all working, even they've got January blues. <laughs> so um, it is raining this morning. It's 7am uh, and 6 degrees is what my car is telling me. Um, I start work at 8, but I have to get there and make sure I'm there early enough to um, set up and things like that. So yeah, working on a Sunday <laughs> because of the fun. So I thought I'd just touch base and see how you're all finding your January. Have you started resolutions? Did anybody kickstart a diet? I know somebody has commented on one of my old videos asking me to restart um, Couch to 5K. I do have a dodgy knee, um, which is hindering um, running or impact exercise at the moment. So I can't fully commit to doing something high intensity. I love spinning. I think I've mentioned that quite a lot, but I'm still yet to find somewhere that actually does spinning in a good way nearby because I don't want to pay to join a gym just to do the spin classes because I've done that twice now and been disappointed in, in the classes, to be honest. And one of the gyms, I booked a lot of classes, various things, and a lot of the time the instructors didn't turn up because the classes were part of the, the fee, so they're, they're included. So I guess the instructors thought, well, you've paid for the gym access, why do I have to turn up to the class? Which is not cool, um, which is why I'm not actually part of a gym at the moment. So something else, bright and breezy Sunday morning. I do have a little trip planned on Friday, so I thought, right, try and uh, decrease the bloat a little bit and see what I can do about shedding a few of the Christmas pounds. I did go up about eight pound over Christmas, which is not cool because the past two months before that, I went up quite a bit as well. So um, I'm gonna start today off day one morning breakfast with a protein shake. I'll insert the footage and let you know how it goes until Friday. Hopefully see you a little skinnier on the flip side. Okay, so day two is happening. Um, excuse the lighting and the wobble. I'm just uh, walking into work. It's now Monday morning, 7 a.m. It's dark and cold. At least it's not raining today. So hopefully it will stay at least dry. Um, I don't know about anybody else, but the colder it is, the more you feel like you deserve food and uh, warm food and extra food and things to just make you feel better. <laughs> But it's not happening, it is uh, day two of shakes. Day one didn't go exactly as planned, if I'm totally honest. I don't know what's happening with my hair there. Um, so I did have the shake in the morning, water throughout the day, had a banana as a snack. Did have some coffees and I said I have oh, a, a vegan bean salad, um, but it was store bought and it did come with a, like a barbecue sauce. And then I had a cheese salad later on, also store bought because I did a 10 hour shift at work and I'm lazy. But 
day two. Let's try and not hit the stores and just do uh, more shakes, less food, and uh, shed a few pounds. Fingers crossed. See you on the flip side. Okay, so it's now Wednesday, so day four, I guess, um, in the grand scheme of, let's call it, uh, dieting, and I failed again. Now, it's ten past eight, I start work at nine o'clock this morning, and um, I don't want to use another excuse, but I have plenty of them, and when I start work at a different time every morning, I, I can't get into a rhythm, I wake up tired, I did a late shift yesterday, an early shift today, and I can't seem to find my flow, and I know that sounds like a complete cop-out, but when you're doing seven or six days a week straight, when every day is different, I need more structure than that. Uh, you can see it's, it's starting to get light, and it is dry, so there are two bonuses for January. Um, I think the light just changed on my screen there, got a bit darker. Um, but I've just called through and got myself a hot chocolate from McDonald's and two hash browns. So no shake this morning. Um, at this point, will this video ever go up? Probably not. And is it even worth doing Thursday and Friday? Friday night is when I head down to Brighton um, and there will be no dieting then, for sure. I'm going to have some fun times. I've never been before. I'm seeing a, an old friend and I'm looking forward to that. But I wanted to just shift a few pounds, be a little less bloated, be more comfortable in myself. Um, I'm very insecure about my size and I can't seem to get a grip. I know people are just like out there saying, just do what you say you're going to do or join a club. But I don't have the time or the money to, to join a club for a start and I feel like I should be able to do this. It's just not happening and I don't know um, whether it's over the past few months obviously a lot's changed in my family structure, my work life, um, life life. Uh, it's just a lot and am I weak? Does that is that my fault? I'm not sure. Let me know. Um, does anybody else have these same struggles? January is supposed to be this fresh start for everything. And I think there's so much pressure on making a change that if you don't make a change, you feel like a failure. And I don't want to feel like a failure right at the beginning of 2020 because this is my year. I'm sure of that. But this week is not my diet week. So we'll see if this ever goes uh, live on YouTube and um, let's see what happens for Thursday and Friday. But for now, Happy Wednesday! See you on the flip side. Okay, so excuse the lighting. Once again, it is now Thursday morning and 7.03 a.m. Off to work for another eight o'clock start today. And yes, it is uh, pitch black and rainy. So um, you can imagine I didn't start in the most positive spirit to uh, stay on the diet just because the whole week is um, been so up and down. I kind of start every morning thinking I'm gonna crack this day and then by lunchtime I'm thinking why am I doing this and then by dinner time I'm not doing this. <laughs> so yesterday I definitely had a lot of chocolate. Um, I can give you another excuse. I can say that uh, it's almost my time of the month and uh, why did I start a diet uh, on this particular week I do not know but excuses don't lose pounds so <laughs> I can just be honest and say there's always another Monday um, <laughs> and yeah I mean today I'm just on my way obviously to work and for my lunch slash snacks I've got two bananas and a packet of crisps and some coffee now is that healthy absolutely not um, is it going to keep me motivated and headstrong Probably not. I was going to continue this till the Friday before, like, you know, tomorrow when I head down to Brighton. But at this point, I think, what's the point? Because um, I'm probably going to have um, road snacks on my way down to Brighton. Because that will be one very long day heading straight down after work. So I'm going to call it quits today and try again next week. So. Here's to another Monday. See you on the flip side. Okay, so I've just parked up 
I'm ready to walk over to work and I didn't really want to just leave it there. Uh, this is the last day I'm going to attempt anything for this week but I just wanted to ask am I the only person that gets like this? I mean when I do my TV filming work I can get up in the middle of the night, drive to anywhere around the country, um, stay strong, feel awake and positive and yet this past couple of weeks I've done like seven days in a row, had a day off then six days in a row and because my shift pattern is all over I just haven't felt motivated. I can't find my rhythm. It's throwing me off my diet, my life, my sleep. I look tired, I feel exhausted. And I don't I don't know why. Is is this just age? Is this me now? Um because I want to carry on with my TV filming when everything kicks back in in the next week or so. And I don't want this kind of like negative um vibe I've got going on now to to be part of me anymore. <laughs> so let me know, does anybody else have uh, trouble starting a diet, keeping to a diet, changing their sleep patterns? Um, should I just be stronger, man up, woman up, <laughs> sort myself out? Um, yes, I do have lion hair in the morning. It is brushed, but just the weather, um, the damp gets to it. So sorry about that. But yeah, help, please. Um, I'm going to touch base with you in a few weeks time on this same kind of topic and see if I've managed to start again and see if I have less bags under my eyes um, when my shift pattern goes to um, late. But yeah, we'll see. Sorry about any negativity. I don't mean it to be that way. I just need help, support, um, the knowledge that I'm not on my own, all of the above. If you can let me know in the comments that you feel the same or you know somebody that also has struggles or there's an answer, I would love the answer <laughs> to, to get myself out of this. But um, maybe it's just the winter blues, maybe it's just January blues, maybe I'm underestimating the power of um, the way January can make you feel. But all I feel is tired and fat and I don't want to do that. So any help that you can give me uh, to remove this additional smile line I have here. Um, yeah, thanks for that. See you on the flip side. Hey.